Hi guys. Okay, so we're going to be making our fox clock today. I've kind of prepped everything. Um, you guys can color um, all of your fox pieces to make it a little more fun for you. Um, sorry, Miss Anderson's trying to get it ready to go. Um, so I've pre poked a hole in my plate. You may want to have mom and dad help you with that part. Um, Oliver's mom did message me um, Friday before or Thursday before spring break and let me know that these clock cans are kind of hard to maneuver just on the flimsy paper so it may be easier if you guys want to do out of construction paper or cardstock if you have it but the first step I'm going to do is glue my fox um my clock to my fox body on top of where I've pre-cut the hole and you're going to be gluing this onto the back of your plate and so Ms. Anderson is going to glue the plate down. And we're going to be using this week to learn um, about the clock, how to tell time. I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. So we're going to be using that right there. Miss Anderson, when she poked the hole, made it a little bit above where the dot was. Um, so you may want to poke the hole after you glue this down, that's what I'm noticing, but it'll be fine. I've almost got it. Okay, so I've got my clock hands kind of in the middle down here. It's okay if they're a little bit off. So I've poked my hole so I know where that's going to go. I'm then going to glue my eyeballs to my fox face. Again, you can color it. Miss Anderson just ran out of time. Color that. And we're going to glue him like so to the top of our clock. So you're going to glue him his head. You're going to go the neck of the head to the back of your clock and make sure the fox head is at the top of your clock and the top is going to be on the 12. Alright. And I can make my, you may want to add a little bit of tape to that. Um, my air is blowing right on top of where I'm trying to make this. So it's making it a little bit more difficult. So you can put your tail to the right side or you can put your tail to the left side. I want mine on the right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom and push it to the side of the plate. So there's that. Next, what I'm gonna do is take my, my small hand and then my clock came apart. So you're gonna wanna add tape to the back of this. Um, Miss Anderson is just doing it right now to show you guys how to do it, but I would suggest adding tape. Um, so I'm going to center these two on the hole, and you want to put your long hand, which is your minute hand, um, on the bottom, and your big hand on the top. And then where you already poked your hole, you're going to poke each one through that same hole. And then you're going to pop the brad back out and poke it through the other one on top on the same spot. So I'm going to get that ready to go. Poke it in and since you've already poked each hole it should not be too hard. If my fingers, which are frozen, would cooperate, put this one down and so then I'm going to put this down through the hole. That's already started. All right. So now that I have these attached to my clock. I'm going to do something with the brad, and it's going to be right here. Okay, so now 
I should be able to kind of move my clock hand around. It's not going to be very easy because um, you kind of we kind of want them to stay in place. And Miss Anderson is going to. So this is your clock. Um, we will be using this in our time lessons this week. Um, thank you guys for watching how to make a fox clock, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.